What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another Flipping for Profit video. Today we're going to be checking out my eBay room. Me and my girlfriend just recently cleaned it out. It looks amazing. The totes that were over by the mirror in the last two videos, we finally used them, cleaned out the eBay room, and it looks nice. There's a lot more room just to move around in general, but also to get more stuff to flip for profits. We did donate to our local thrift store a lot of stuff that's just been sitting and stuff that's been hard to sell or we weren't able to sell for a really long time so we finally got rid of a lot of stuff and it looks a lot nicer in there so we're gonna be checking that out so let's get started so of course the video game tote is still here we do plan on putting that in the ebay room very soon we just have to clear out a few more things first but we did end up finding in a box all of these figures that honestly i forgot about so we have uh, two drax figures we have thanos figures i actually have those in my personal collection same as iron man here this is a double i actually have that in my personal collection eric carlson as well it's a double and this one here i actually got in a lot to resell so all that is going to be posted very soon. And now a look at the eBay room. It actually looks a lot cleaner than it did. So here is what we have right now. And it looks amazing compared to what it was. And if you guys have seen videos from the past of how full this room is and was full of just junk, it looks amazing right now. So these are the comics on the top here that I have left to uh, resell. The rest are ones that I'm keeping, the bottom two boxes here. Plus I have my personal collection in the closet over here, but these are the ones that's left to resell. We do have a bunch of sealed comics, uh, a bunch of foil comics, Spider-Man, uh, a couple runs, a couple different sets that are complete as well. So these are more of my higher end comics that's remaining, which is awesome. Now over here, these are the totes that you guys seen in the other room for a really long time. We finally have them tossed in here. This was originally a mountain. We had the boxes that are over in this corner here. Uh, actually double that because my girlfriend actually cleaned out a lot of her stuff and this is what she decided to keep. But that was all that was in that corner piled up high. All the stuff that was here was starting on the filing cabinet and just all the way up and just over. So we just condensed it now. So right here is where the video game tote's gonna be. And the bottom toe here, that's our personal collection, the boxes of our Funko Pops. That's gonna be put on top. And then we have, I think three or four empty totes. One of them, um, I think we're gonna be saving for uh, Christmas and that's to put Christmas stuff in but the other ones is gonna be to for me to put my stuff to flip for profit so now I actually have totes to put everything so it's all together in one spot because right now other than the video game tote in the other room I only have this box here full of stuff right now so hopefully we can uh, start getting more stuff now that I do have space for it all the comics we recently did sell and I did share that in previous videos and this is what's left but this room does look a lot nicer now. We actually have spots for all of our supplies. The boxes are over there. A lot of the supplies for shipping's up on the top here as well. But we have everything pretty much cleared out from what there was. These are the bags that we use whenever I sell locally. My uh, bubble mailers. So everything's organized. Everything is where we know it is. I do have to clean out this a little bit better because that's where the only spot that I had supplies before. But we're getting there. This room is coming together nicely. Now I did have these video games here. They're gonna be put in the other totes uh, as well, my video game totes, but these are ones that I actually had uh, in the bottom of the box that used to sit here. Um, so all of these are gonna be listed and put in that. I did get rid of all my hockey cards. If you guys remember back in the day, I am a huge hockey fan. I'm a hockey collector. And I did go and get rid of all the hockey cards, the $2 packs that I had, the $15 packs that I was selling, uh, that my mystery packs, because honestly, I haven't been selling for a really long time, and I just wanted to get rid of them. So these are the ones that I kept uh, to either look up the value of some of them and see uh, what there is. Uh, there is... A graded card, there is a couple autograph cards that I just want to check out the value, a couple young guns as well that I also want to check out the value of those. So we're going to be checking all that stuff out soon, but most of my hockey cards are gone, thankfully. So uh, the only thing else that I have that for some reason hasn't sold is this Nintendo 3DS, the NES edition, which it's in perfect condition. I tested it, it has a Kirby game on it, which I'm a fan of Kirby, so... This here, so far, 
Um, I'm still out $230 for this. It sells for around $300, but I've had nobody interested. So I'm going to list it one more time. If it doesn't sell, this is going to stay in my personal collection because I love Nintendo. I don't have a 3DS or any DS in my collection. So it would fit in, but it was purchased for the purpose of reselling. And then also we have a couple more Funkos here, some Walking Dead Funkos and that. So overall, this room does look a lot better than it did a couple days ago. Uh, this room was a mess. You couldn't, for the longest time, you couldn't get into the filing cabinet because we had from here over full of totes, full of stuff to resell, just a whole bunch of, like a mountain of collectibles over here, a mountain of collectibles over here. Uh, there was a cabinet here as well. That's in the other room now. So we just condensed everything. Uh, donated a whole bunch of stuff just to get rid of stuff uh, and overall this looks really great. So the reason we decided to do this is not only to make it easier to access everything that's in this room instead of it being completely cluttered but also it gives us space to add more stuff especially for my reselling business. I actually have room to put inventory now rather than just randomly placing it throughout the room and then whenever stuff does sell on eBay or locally I have to try to find and dig for it. I know where everything is now, which is awesome. I have the totes to put stuff in now, so I know moving forward, most of the stuff I'll have to resell will mainly be in the totes, so it's not really me struggling to find stuff, which is gonna be awesome. We did clear out a lot of stuff that we decided to go to the thrift store. My girlfriend got rid of a lot of stuff that she was saving, a lot of magazines and stuff from her childhood. We got rid of a lot, so we're really happy of the work we did. We do have to, again, move the video game tote in here and clean up a couple other things, but overall, this does look awesome, and it's basically a fresh start so I can actually start going through my reselling business and seeing what else I want to purchase to flip for profit, which was the point of the series. But now we have the eBay room cleared out. I actually has, I have a space now over here. Once this binder is removed and this box here is removed, I'll actually have a space to pack any orders that need to be shipped out, which is gonna be nice rather than me just randomly finding a spot somewhere in the house or a different room. I actually have a spot to pack orders now, which is awesome and also take photos. So overall, everything in this room is coming together. Hopefully we find some more stuff to flip for profit. Honestly, I'm looking for more 3DS and more Nintendo stuff in general, but also video games and comics. Comics are starting to become harder to find in my opinion now because people want exactly what they're worth or people look up stuff and know what they're worth. So to buy the lots like I did in the past where I buy, I buy a lot of 1,000 to 4,000 comics and I'm paying 50 cents a book. Most people now want one to two dollars per book for the same lot. So if they're selling a thousand comics and they want a dollar a book, that's a thousand dollars for a thousand comics. That's a little bit out of my price range, especially when some of the stuff inside might be crap and I've ran into that before or some of the stuff might just be dollar books, which I've ran into before as well. Paying 50 cents for that is fine. Paying a dollar for a dollar book and trying to resell it not so much. So maybe you'll be able to find some Spider-Man. Maybe you'll be able to find some uh, comics that sell for higher value, but not as often. So if you're paying for a thousand bucks, one to two thousand dollars, to me, that's just a little bit too insane, a little bit too pricey and not worth the risk for me. If I end up finding one more lot like I did before where I'm paying about 50 to 60 cents per book, that's the stuff I'll pick up but I just have not been able to find anything for a really long time. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll keep you guys updated on anything else for the flipping for profit business. My eBay is very slim right now, but most of my sales have been coming locally from Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace. So hopefully that continues. Hopefully we can sell out uh, the totes in the other room. I'm still about $10 away from breaking even, which is amazing because I have probably 180 games left not including the games that I have been listing on eBay to sell for more money that are around uh, $10 to $20 a piece. So we are going to be into profit on that very soon. I'll keep you guys updated. Hope you guys enjoy this series. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.